Introduction Cotton comes from the family Malvachi. Two species of cotton are grown in India, Desi cotton Gossypium arboreum and American cotton, Gossypium hirsutum. The Desi cotton is less infested by pests. Over 1,326 species of insect pests attack cotton crop in the world. Only 162 species infest cotton in India. Of these only 15 are major pests. Among these are Pink boll worm, Pectinifera gossipiella Spotted boll worm, Ereas insulana Cotton leaf roller, Silapta derogata Red cotton bug, Dystercus conigv Cotton gray weevil, Milicerus undecim postulatus Cotton whitefly, Bemisia tabassi Systematic position Pectinifera gossipiella, the pink boll worm Phylum, Arthropoda Class, Insecta Order, Lepidoptera Family, Gelichidae Genus, Pectinifera Species, Gossipiella Distribution Distribution The pink bowl worm occurs all over India in cotton growing regions. Food plants Besides cotton, pink bowl worm also feeds on ladies' finger. Hollyhock and other malvaceous plants, life history. Eggs of the pink boll worm Eggs are laid on the young green cotton bolls, sometimes on flower buds, new shoots, leaves and in leaf axils. They are white, flat and oval, the caterpillar or the larva. The larva life lasts for two weeks and almost entirely passed in the seeds. Larva grows 8 to 10 millimeters. When it has pink body, brown head. Winter is passed in the larval stage and not in pupal stage. The larva leaves the bowl and pupates in a silk cocoon in the soil or under fallen leaves. The adult. The moth emerges after 7 days. It's about 8 millimeters. Long deep brown insect with black and white spots on the fore wings, and deeply fringed margin of the hind wings. It is nocturnal as other moths. Mating occurs very next night after emergence of the adults. Female lays eggs on the second to fourth night and dies. There may be four to six generations in a year. May to November, damage the caterpillars destroy the seeds and check lint formation. They also damage the already formed coppas. The attacked bulls falls off prematurely. Moreover the bulls are exposed to attacks of bacteria and fungi. The pink boll worm may cause about 10 to 30 percent loss of cotton yield. The damaged crop gives less seeds, less oil and inferior fiber. Control, Management The fallen leaves, buds and bulls should be collected and destroyed. Plowing the field deep in February end and exposing the hibernating larvae may kill the latter. The off-season cotton sprouts and alternate host plants should be destroyed. Resistant varieties of cotton should be grown. Spray of endosulfan or carbaryl is an effective control of pink boll worm. Seeds should be exposed in a thin layer to May slash June sun for three to four hours to kill hibernating larvae before sowing. Dystercus conig the red cotton bug. Systematic position. Phylum, Arthropoda Class, Insecta Order, Hemiptera Family, Pyracridae Genus, Dystercus Species, Konig, Distribution Distribution, the red cotton bug occurs all over India almost throughout the year. It is a minor pest of cotton in Punjab and up. Food plants, the red cotton bug also attacks sweet potato tobacco, ladies' finger, hollyhock and other malvaceous plants with oily seeds. Eggs of the red cotton bug The female lays about 100 to 130 rounded, yellow eggs in groups in the moist soil or in the ground crevices. The eggs hatch in 7 to 8 days in tiny nymphs with flabby abdomen. The nymph the nymphs hatches in 7 to 8 days from eggs. The nymphs become adults in about 40 to 80 days after 5 molts. 
during growth, they become more slender and acquire black markings on the body. The adult The adult bug has an elongated, slender, bright red body with distinct white bands across the abdomen. The female is 15 mm long and the male is 13 mm long. Both have a triangular head with long triangular head with long, four jointed black antennae, prominent eyes and piercing sucking mouth parts, forming a sharp pointed proboscis. The four wings, called hemelytra, are thick and horny in the anterior half and membranous and black in the posterior half. They crossed each other at rest, forming a diamond-shaped, black area on the back. Each hemolytron has a black spot near the middle. The hind wings are membranous. Damage The adults as well as nymphs suck sap from the seeds of green or ripe cotton bowls. This causes poor lint formation and shriveling of the bowls and destroys the germinating power of the seeds. They also inject into the bowls a microorganism that causes red stains on the cotton fibers. The bug therefore called as red cotton stainer. Control, management, the bugs may be hand-picked and killed. Infested plants may be shaken over a pan containing water with a film of kerosene oil. This will trap and kill the bugs. Moistened cotton seeds may be hung up at places to attract the bugs. From here, they can be shaken over a pan containing water with a film of kerosene oil. Systematic position Milicerus undecim postulatus cotton gray weevil. Phylum, Arthropoda. Class, Insecta. Order, Coleoptera. Family, Curculionidae. Genus, Milicerus. Species, Undecim postulatus. Distribution. Distribution, the cotton gray weevil is widely distributed in India. It's a minor pest of cotton. Food plants, the cotton gray weevil also attacks sweet potato, tobacco, ladies finger, hollyhock and other malvaceous plants with oily seeds. Life history. Eggs of the cotton gray weevil. The female weevil ovoid, light yellow eggs in the soil. The eggs hatch in three to five days. The grub and the pupa. The emerging young grubs are white, legless, cylindrical creatures. Feed on the roots of cotton plants and become full grown, about 8 mm. Long in 1 to 2 months. Then they pupate in the soil within earthen cells, forming creamy white pupae. The adult the white pupae turn into the adults in about 1 week. The adult beetles are gray. They are about 3 to 6 millimeters long. They have snout like head and strong pincer like jaws. They feed on aerial parts of the host plant. They live for 8 to 11 days in summers and 4 to 5 months in winter. The entire life history takes about 6 to 8 weeks. There are 3 to 4 generations in a year.